welcome to a terrific today, Tuesday. I am Haley, and this is the WBE Wildcat Chat. And I am Morgan. Today is Tuesday, February 16, 2021. We have a lot to chat about with you all, WBE Wildcat. But first, we need everyone to stop what you're doing and stand up quietly for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Hey guys, this is Lily and I am going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. It's ready to salute the pledge. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now take a moment to close your eyes so you can focus on the kind of that you would like to have. Time for the most important thing. Let's hear about today's lunch menu from our kitchen correspondent. This is our recording live from the WB Star Cafe. Today for lunch, our chefs are preparing beefy nachos with chips and cheese or PB&J sandwich, corn, sweet potato fries and fruit. Remember, you can also purchase ice cream for dessert for $1. That sounds delicious. Today is an important day for some of us students and our staff. It's time to wish some very special people a happy birthday. This is Emily, and I'm sending birthday shout outs for Sunday's birthday to Caden Thomas, Madison Biggs, and Nariah Pearson. And shout outs for Monday's birthday to Isaac Evans. This is Maddox, and I want to send a birthday shout-out to Mr. Bontman. We hope you have a great birthday, Mr. Bontman. Happy birthday to all of you. Now to help us all stay healthy and safe, we head over to our health expert. This is Mia, Tuesday's health expert. We've been talking about heart health. How does the heart work? Did you know you, your heart is a muscle? It is. It's about the size of your fist and it sits in the middle of your chest. The one difference between your heart and other muscles is that it never gets to rest. When the heart beats, it pushes blood through the body and delivers oxygen. This process is called circulation. I love hearing about ways to stay healthy. Now let's power up. I have vocabulary with our word of the day. Word up, with Spanish. This is Dane. Our power word is disease. Disease is a condition that causes harm to the health of a person, animal, or plant. Here is the disease used in a sentence. Coronavirus is a contagious disease. Some synonyms or words that mean the same thing as disease are illness and sickness. I can't wait to try to use our power word today. I love learning new things. Let's head over to the science corner to learn some cool facts about the world around us. This is to live Tuesday signs. During the past few weeks, we have learned about the desert habitat and the Arctic habitat. This week, we are going to learn about the grasslands. Grassland habitats are places that receive more rain than deserts, but less than forests. Most of the plants here are different types of grasses and small bushes, which don't need a lot of water. Every continent except Antarctica has grasslands, but they have different names. In Africa, they're called savannas, papas, in South America, steppes in Europe and in Asia, pairs of grassland in North America and ridgelands in Australia. One fourth of the planet is covered by grasslands. There's so much to learn about in our world. I wonder what we will learn today on Fascinating Facts with Miss Parker. 
Did you know that the first open heart surgery was performed in 1893 by Daniel Hale Williams? Williams was also one of the first African-American cardiologists in the United States. Fascinating! Hey guys, this is Jay. What does civil rights mean? Civil rights are basic rights that every citizen has under the law of the government. In the United States, the civil rights of each individual citizen are protected by the Constitution. Civil rights for every person means that regardless of gender, skin color, religion, nationality, age, disability, a person should not be discriminated against. Civil rights include the right to free speech, privacy, relig religion, assemble, a fair trail, and freedom of thought. Anyone who is considered a citizen of a country should be treated equally under the law. However, this was not true for African Americans. This week we will be learning about how Americans finally earned the vote, the right to vote. Remember that Friday is our Class Dojo Behavior Award. Make sure you are working hard to make positive choices so you can earn those points. And remember to try not to make negative choices and lose, and lose points. Now it's time for us to sign off for today. We will see you next time on the <laughs> Let's go, 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 let's go